My name is Steve Kirikostas. I'm the owner of Winterborn Blades and I handcraft custom-made knives and swords. My love of swords came from my mother actually. She used to read me Greek mythology as a kid like Homer's Odyssey, Homer's Iliad, Jason the Argonauts, uh, the feats of Hercules, and all of them had swords and it was just heroic and I wanted to be them. Just a hero and leading my life good and just what my mom taught me, right? I never, I never drew myself as a villain, always the hero. And some people look at the sword like it's, it's an evil thing, but a sword could be used for good and it could give people hope and inspire them. Every sword I make has a unique character and persona. I never create the same sword twice. I'll create a variation of the same sword, but there's gonna be differences like in the guard, uh, the pommel, the handle, uh, intricate details like carving. When I start creating a character, I start with their name, where they're from, their background, their fighting style, what they look like, and uh, their goal. What are they fighting for? When I'm creating a sword, I usually have one foot in history and one foot out, mostly on the fantasy side. When clients come to me, they often have an idea in their head of what they want. And I usually just put an input on, on how to make it more functional and proportioned because some fantasy swords from games and, uh, and anime and cartoons are overly sized. And I, you gotta just kind of tweak the dimensions to make it functional. I usually find my inspiration while driving. So I'll turn off the radio and I'll think about the character, their backstory and every little detail. And then when I'm satisfied, I go home I write it all out, and then I start with a rough sketch. Then I draw a little more detailed sketch, and eventually we go for a full scale one. There's only a certain amount of historical swords, but I use that as a, as a starting point, as a reference to keep them functional. And I just add my own elements to the guard and the pommel and, and, and the handle. And sometimes on, on curved swords, I might put an extra exaggerated curve on it just for a fantasy feel. The way I usually judge my work is based on uh, the balance of the blade and the cutting performance. If the blade is off balance, it's gonna be either tip heavy or it's gonna be too heavy in your hands. And uh, if the blade is not tapered from the guard all the way to the tip, it's gonna have poor cutting performance. My favorite sword to make is the European longsword because I could put my own spin on it and the possibilities are endless.